Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack, and well, as you guessed, yesterday was the final moments of the Xbox 360 store. 19 years. It's the end of an era, which, you know, it gave us, or at least for the ones that had an Xbox 360 in the 2000s of mid-2010s it had a lot of good memories because they they had a lot of good games and I know the golden age of the gaming wa uh, era was the PS2 but nonetheless it was like the final step it was the last the last step in innovating and give us good stuff but at the same time, I have to say, it was the beginning of the end because it gave birth to one of many of the worst practices that is just plaguing the corporate gaming industry. So, for example, you know, it Xbox Live service, uh, paying for playing online, it's not from originated from Xbox 360, it's from the original Xbox. But thanks to how this console was designed and the OS, it managed to just normalize that shit. And I have to say, compared to the PS3 in that time, PS3 didn't charge you for playing online, but Xbox 360 did. And they claim it was far better service, but it was far better servers, dedicated servers. That was a fucking lie. The servers were, they were only dedicated by the company. The subscription was just a middleman. Just one example. Uh, the most notorious one, it's the... DLC scheme. You know, uh, one of the original sinners of that shit is Bethesda. Book Tesda. Shit Tesda. And then normalize it through Xbox Live because we are, it's not news that probably that shit was already happening on PC gaming. It's true. But who, who, who what company? I think it's very obvious pointing out that Microsoft is the one that made it easier for these companies to just keep indulging themselves in in these practices or even cutting content and selling you for the extra price, just like fucking EA. They're one of the first examples of that is Need for Speed Carbon, the DLC scams that they were just fucking expensive or even the the Ubisoft games where they started to do and that too. Or even they, they're charging you for online DLC that is not even functional anymore. Uh, well, that's the case. Mentioning the good stuff is that in this, is this console, it, there were used to be good Good games where they had good looking female characters created from the West for the West and incursion editing some Japanese video games like Konechambara. And well, my my most fond memories playing in the Xbox 360 was just racing games like Forza and Midnight Club LA, especially Forza Horizon. Uh, that was a good game. For a good racing video game that it's for people that like racing and not you are not someone that you don't know anything and you need your hand held or and being directed. Uh, you know, uh, it's something that I ranted about Forza Horizon 4 and on 5. But anyway, this again, this is the end of what. People are going to lose. At least if you didn't buy 
so I'm not against that I'm not backwards compatible because well that's what it is they they closed down finally that store because probably some security issues with the online store and well most of the games that they already went backwards compatible you they say you know what since the majority of games are like that and some of the other stuff is made from companies that they are not even existence. At least, I mean, for example, the old THQ or at least the one that did the test drive Unlimited 2. They are not the same people. Uh, that game didn't go full backwards compatible. Or even, I have to say, some of those games, they are going far and beyond. For example, the, 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 the original Dead Space is far less toned down than the D-Make. Or even if you play in Conan, that, that shit, I'm not surprised that you can, you could see Tidis. And it's a rated M game. Or even on a Chambara, you know, the ex future of x is now grim. Because you have shit like this. So this is from Mongoliar. Xbox president. Don't know anything about video games. Force developers to stop making curvy female characters. Remember we used to have those. Even in Halo 3rd. Shut down Tangus Games Works. Hijack Xbox Pass prices. Other empowered diversity, equity and inclusion games flop. Truly a... Uh, women's moment so this is the beginning of the end because they, you didn't have many uh, games that had wokeness in that console nowadays uh, they are just playing the xbox one and xbox series x ah man so i know probably you if you had this console you you had fun memories and just to end this video, remember, with piracy, going seven seas, people are going to back up this catalog of games and they're still going to play it. People are still going to get invested into this or even playing on a powerful PC to run it on an emulator or even revive the online components because I, we have seen that even in PlayStation 3. They revived Gran Turismo games, the online component, especially five, and Killzone too. So there are people that are still fond of those memories, and they are capable of doing it. Uh, this point is the future is PC. The future game is PC until Microsoft decides to fuck up the. OS they have current well, well they currently fuck it up one of them Windows 11 but that's that's a story for another day still I uh, I have to say yeah I really like it that console I still have it and from time to time I play it that's all I wanted to say here thanks for watching and I hope you have a pretty